Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Battle Series, The School of Hard Knocks. So, throughout this episode, like every other, we'll be jumping onto the Pokemon Global Link Battles Ball and ping under the Championship Battle Rules, which are the equivalent rule sets of the VGC 2019 season. We are continuing on today with this Kyogre Eveltal team. We've got Incineroar, we've got Amoongus, we've got Driflim, and Tapu Lele is a spawn cast to those restricted Pokemon. Team Mods are Tailwind primarily, we've got it on Driftblim, we've got it on Evelto, we've got a Trick Room check to a certain extent in Amoongus, it's the one thing that I put in there when we're playing these other four Pokemon that kind of gives us a little bit of leeway against Trick Room, we do have to play it very carefully against that mod, but it's not unbeatable. Now we started off last week, we had a really good week, and then we come back again to the team and it's not been so great so far this week, so I really want to just take our time in today's episode. Really think back to the matches that we've played so far. Hopefully turn things around and get some some better results. Because um, the past couple have not been so good. I mean, we finished up yesterday with a win. But other than that, it's not been amazing. So let's get the, the in-game music on. Just in time for our first opponent from Japan. 1656 rated opponent playing a team of Kyogre, Dustman, Necrozma, Toxicroc, Serena, Incineroar and Clefairy. And as always, guys, if you enjoy the content and you want to support the channel leave a like on the video and also leave a comment down in the comment section below because I love to hear your thoughts on the games and the teams that we see in these episodes so right what are we gonna do we've got a lot of support Pokemon here we've got Toxicroak loves the rain we've got Serena has that Queenly Majesty ability to prevent any sort of um, priority attacks. We've got Incineroar for Intimidate. Support Fake Out support. We've got Friend Guard on Clefairy. Follow me support there. Um, so there's definitely Trick Room as a mod in this team with that Dustman Necrozma, I would I would say. And then you're going to have the Kyogre, which is probably the faster mod. It's probably kind of indication from Serena from Toxicroak it's going to be scarfed Kyogre and um, now it's nice to kind of come up against this because I feel like Driftblim Lele is is not bad against this lead obviously the Dustman and Crosma coming out as a lead is a bit problematic for us now you've got to look at my opponent's team they've got no terrain and um, support to get around um, like if they get Trick Room up Amoongus can come in and start putting stuff to sleep excluding the Serena of course but um, we could go Amoongus, but then Incineroar becomes a way bigger issue, so I think like it always makes me want to bring Kyogre. It just locks us out against Toxicroc, Serena becomes really difficult, and it puts a bit more pressure on the other members of the team, like Tapu Lele, like Driftbim, to be able to deal with those Pokemon. And like I say, if Dustman and Necrozma comes out for a lead for my opponent, then we're gonna have to adjust a little bit. Like we're gonna have to try and protect uh, Driftblim a lot better. Like Incineroar could come out as a lead. It's gonna be a bit awkward. I'm gonna see Kyogre Clefairy come out for my opponent, which is fine. Probably gonna see Follow Me or Help in Hand or Spout Turn One. I would say Follow Me, um, if anything, it'd make a lot more sense. Now I could go for a taunt into the Clefairy and shut it down in Tailwind. Which sets us up nicely for the next turn, for sure. Um, and I think I'm going to do that. I think the biggest detriment to this play is the Help in Hand Water Spout, which probably will get Drifling. Oh, wow. Okay, snatched. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Snatch Clefairy. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is so good. That is so good. I love it. I love it. We are going to shut down the Clefairy this next turn, but we're in such a bad spot. Especially if the Kyogre is scoffed. I mean, we just go for the Tailwind again. That's all we can we can do and protect Lele. I mean, that puts my opponent in such a good position. Oh, the techs are real. Clefairy going to withdraw, as you would expect, but we can't not protect Lele here. Because um, the water spout, like, the, I should have really paid more attention with the rain and the psychic terrain. Too busy talking about, yeah, it is Scarf, and it's going to take down Drift Limp. Oh, man, in the tailwind as well. Oh, we are done for, we are done for. Looks like we're getting three videos in today, guys. Probably. Um, 
I mean, we bring any belts, though. Oh. I don't know if we take a double attack. I really don't think we take a double attack from, like, not a full power war spout. And not a Sensio Strike, or, oh, like, what you would expect. I'm gonna have to sack the Lele here and try and get some damage onto the Kyogre. There's no way, though. It's scarfed, it's locked into water spout. Takes down the melee, and then we'll see what this this mini Cosmo does. Yes, it's a spike. Oh man, that snatch has just absolutely ruined us. Ugh. Nice to see, nice to see, but I mean, just. I mean, what what can you do with this position now? Like. Like the last thing I expected. <sighs> I mean, we could try and go snarl, but it's not really going to get us anywhere, is it? I mean, we can double into the Necrozma. It's going to take Water Spout. Tailwind's still up as well. Is this the last turn of it? Because we might be better off. Like, we could go double protect. Yeah, we could go double protect because we'll lose Ebelto. Unless I bury Prox and then we can take a Sunsteel Strike. In that case, it would be better going for foul play into the Kyogre, weakening in it, and then Skull into the Necrozma. There's the Water Spout. We've got to hope this just procs a berry on our Ivelto. It doesn't really proc a berry. Nah, that's a steel strike. That's it. That is it, my friends. Okay, well, if you want to tell your friends about a tech that is pretty nice, it is that. There's a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage. Um, I mean, <laughs> there's not really much we can do. Uh, let's go for Thunder into the Kyogre. The Kyogre probably switches out. Clefairy probably comes in. Necrozma probably sets Trick Room up, I'd imagine. Or it might protect. Wow, I mean, like, I don't even know what to say to that. That's just, it's just... <sighs> Cinnaroll coming in. Okay, yeah. I mean, we could water spout it there. But then again, like, we've got the Kyogre to come back in at the end. Okay, there's just been a cross I mean, this isn't over. This isn't over just yet. Because the psychic terrain's up. We put the Incineroar into water spout range. Hopefully, then Cosmo goes down to water spout. That is like a definite assault vest in Cineroar. 100%. The rain stops. Yes, yeah, so that's definitely over. Uh, psychic terrain ends. 100%. Categorically over. But we'll not give up just yet. We'll not give up just yet. We'll go for a protect. We'll see. If the trick room doesn't come out here, we're going to see fake out. For sure. And the sub, nail in the coffin, so that is G, 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 all day long. All the G's, all the G's, guys. Oh my god. Yeah, just, just making sure that we can protect. We'll take the water spout out of rain, I would imagine. <coughs> I don't think another water spout takes it though, to be honest. We just break the sub on the Necrozma, uh, but it's still alive and kicking. Um, that paralysis is pretty pretty unfortunate. Yeah, four on guys, it actually outspeeds our Kyogre, so we have no worries about. Yeah, I mean, we can't get rid of it this turn, and that's the big problem. Oh, it's life orb. Okay, that just procs a berry. This means we take the Incineroar down, but it's going to be all about whether we take a Thunder from the opposing Kyogre, which I don't think we do from this range. I really don't think we do. 
at least we played on a little bit. And like with the friend guard, I just and follow me support. There's just no way we uh, we can beat this opposing scarf kind of, or is there? Scarf kind of does have its usage uses, I should say. I'm not a big fan of it, and I didn't want to play it on the channel because it's just everywhere, and I think it's good to see different variations of Kyogre to just playing Scarf, personally. Um, but it does have its uses when it's supported really well, like this guy is doing right now, this girl is doing right now. Who knows? There's the follow me. And let's see, Thunder, yeah, I don't think we take this. Oh, well, we do. Surprising. But we're not going to get prepared. Like, it's, it's over. It's over. We fought it next day, for sure. Unless, unless there is a way. No, we can't stall out the rain. We can't stall out the rain. I was going to say, if there's like... One or two turns of rain left, we stall that out, we hope the thunder misses, and ours hit, and paralysis there, but, I mean, no. That turn one play deserves the, the, the big W. Ah, I hate losing, as much as I hate losing, you can't, you kind of have to take your hat off to some players, because that was, that was really good, that was really good, so, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the Snatch Clefairy. And if you didn't, you don't need to leave a thumbs down because no one likes thumbs down. No one. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Man, our rating is taking a tanking. Not really happy about this, but we can come back from it. We can come back from it. Just stay positive. We should probably choose some music because I probably keep forgetting and probably keep it on like Trainer 1. And I don't suppose anyone appreciates. Let's go Ultra Recon Squad. Um, no one appreciates Trainer One music anymore. And hopefully, it doesn't take too long to uh, find an opponent. Ah, oh, it was such an easy, easy click for my opponent to do though. There, I mean, like you know, the Tailwind's gonna come out. So it's so easy to do and you just lock the game up. It's like such a good play. Um, but enough of that last game. We've got our next opponent, Angel from Spain, playing a team of Incineroar, Amungus, Dialga, Tapu Lele, Kartana and Kyoga. So a really nice, well-balanced team here. I like the look of this team a lot. You've got the Kyoga, Dialga as the restricted Pokemon. You've got options for Tailwind with Kartana. You've got options for Trick Room with the Dialga. You've got... Um, Trick Room support with Amoongus as well, with the Rage Powder supporting everything. Um, Intimidate and Fake Out support from the Incineroar, um, and then the um, Terrain support to stop any priority attacks. You've got to imagine that it is Scarf Kyogre. Um, it may be a bulky Slow Kyogre to go off the Trick Room, but you probably think my opponent has like both Spectrums, so choice Scarf Kyogre. Just with that, the, the, the Tapu Lele like, Terrain protection there, it makes a lot of sense. Um, Dialga is going to be a pain for us to deal with. I mean, do we bring Incineroar to this match? I'm always put off a little bit by bringing Incineroar because Kyogre is such a pain um, to deal with. But how do we bring Amoongus? Like, Amoongus, what's Amoongus to here? Not really too much. Unless Trick Room does go up. Do we bring Driftblim Lele? That's the other thing. Um, I feel like we need to, though. Like, in most situations, we need to get the Tailwind up, like, pretty quick. Um... Let's go Kyogre and Uvelto. Like, Incineroar could be good here because of the low kick, but in, like, how many times have we brought Incineroar in this team? I just don't think it's the right pick for this team, to be honest. Like, we could definitely pick something a bit more optimal to give us, a, like, way better options against the stuff that we're struggling with a little bit. And we can definitely go through a lot of these these past episodes and see what we struggle with quite a lot. So I'm going to see Dialga, we're going to see Incineroar come out for my opponent. Um, makes me kind of wanting to switch out Drift Limbs straight away. Um, like the worst possible lead, like props to my opponent actually needing like really good against this sort of lead from us. Um, I don't think there's really any point of us tailwinding 
uh, we could will o wisp the Dialga uh, just to get like a constant chip onto it um, and Moonblast the Incineroar um, and we could taunt the Dialga to be honest that, that's not a bad play like switch out Drift mm. problem with switching out Drift Blim right now is we're going to get knocked off I don't want Kyogre losing this berry um, I'm going to taunt and I'm going to will o wisp the Dialga I'm going to stop the Trick Room and I want to burn it just to get that constant damage onto it so we can't really do too much else to it to be honest we could moonblast it we could acrobatics but we're not going to be doing too much to it we can stop it setting up the trick room now it's a start flash cannon no trick room okay we will take it we are slash so at least we've got that to kind of fall back on a little bit especially defense drop doesn't mean we're too much in the knockoff yeah, okay. So at least we know the trick room isn't a thing we can probably get um, a tailwind up now. And I'm going to just moonblast into the Dialga. Just get some damage onto it because we've got, we don't like, really want Kyogre to come in if we get the tailwind up. And then start doing some some work on Bossy's Pokemon. So if we can chip down the Dialga enough with moonblast. In the process, then Kyogre can come in and start really putting the screw to my opponent. We'll probably see Flash kind of knock off again just to wipe the our side of the field. It's not bad damage, you get the special attack drop, which is always good. Earth Power, they're probably predicting, I don't know, Incineral coming in maybe, and knock off. Oh, you too. Oh, so Drift Blim lives to see another day. What's going to come in from my opponent? This is pretty interesting now. Yeah. We'll dictate what we bring in. Okay, Amoongus. Okay, well, we bring in Kyogre for sure. Yeah, like 100%. Because we just acrobatics and water spout. We do enough to take down the Amoongus. Bring the rain. The dial gets taunted as well, so there's no real chance of it setting up the trick room. Um, and yeah, we just do that. We just water spout in the acrobatics. We haven't revealed the acrobatics yet, so my opponent doesn't suspect it, so maybe we get away with it. Hmm. <laughs> is water spot enough to get the Dialga? That'll be the question. Depends on bulk it is, I guess. So there's the acrobatics. Hopefully this puts Amoongus into range. Oh man, that is just nowhere near enough damage at all. No, something's gone to sleep this turn. Oh man. And we proc a berry on Dialga. Do we proc a berry on Amoongus as well? No. We're gonna, yeah, I think we either take a grass knot or we get put to sleep. I think the smarter player will be putting us to sleep, but yeah, yeah, so nice play from my opponent there. Oh, awkward. Not gonna tell that I have torn prize off as well now, so the trick room could be a thing. 100%. <clears throat> we'll bring Ivelto in. I think Snarl will probably take down the movies from this range. I think it's our best kind of chance to just try and get rid of that if it doesn't switch out and just go for a water spot again. We probably see the trick room get set up now though, I'd imagine. Cinero gonna come in. Kyogre we know has got a guaranteed to sleep. Cinero avoids that's not the one we care about too much. We get the special attack drop again on that Dialga, so we can hit even more, which is always going to be good. So that's minus two, it's on Trick Room, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I think with Kyogre, like, we pretty much just, I think we go Snarl again, and we go Scald into the Incineroar, and hope we wake up, because the Scald should take that Incineroar down. 
knock off into Kyoga. Yep, makes sense. Oh, that thunder. Minus two, we should take this. Oh, we missed that ferry though. We missed that ferry so much. And we needed to, we needed to wake up there. Like, there was no qualms about that. We, like, not waking up there is just taking away any chance of us being able to win this match. Mmm. It's such a strong start last week with this team, it feels like we're going out in a bit of a whimper, doesn't it? But it's just how it goes sometimes, you know, sometimes you, you hit the matchups, you get things go right for you, and then sometimes you're just on, on point so much, and then some of the matchups are a bit difficult, but... Hmm. Can't believe how little that acrobatics did to the Amoongus, though. It's very defensively bulky. And now the movie should put a Veltal to sleep. We lose Kyoga for sure. Um, uh, I mean, there's not really much we can do. I mean, we can protect with Kyoga and hope we wake up. Yeah, but our movie should put a Veltal to sleep for sure. We just take another knockoff into Kyoga. I would say, yeah, there you go. I mean, we need to like. I probably need a triple protect Kyle right now to get out of this trick room. And even then, the Amoongus is still a problem because he's got the Rage Powder. So, how many turns have we got that? Two turns. Yeah, we need a triple protect. We need to get a one turn wake up to get the Amoongus. We need a triple protect with Kyogre. Nah, we don't even get the double. <laughs> Good job, Kyle. Then. But I mean, we shouldn't never put ourselves in such a rough position anyway. Like leading again, leading wrong. Uh, we do get the one to wake up, which is kind of funny. Um, we lose our berry in the process. Rain stops. Uh, but like our leads again, just put us so far behind. Like. Um, any other lead from our opponent would have been alright, except that in Sonora Dial, the lead and like from that position, because then that's the problem, I guess, with the Drift Blim, because you don't really want to switch out. Um, especially when, like, knockoff is something that will definitely come into that slot. You don't want to switch anything in um, other than that doesn't have a seed, which you've got the seed, so nothing else really will have that seed. Um, you don't want to bring it in just to get knocked off and take a load of damage, especially if one of one when you restrict the Pokemon as well. Dimensions turn back to normal. Um, well, let's not take the Amoongus down from here. I don't know if it will. I mean, we just got foul play. We take some damage off and sit a roll for sure. Yeah, and then we see what my opponent's last Pokemon is. Right. Ah. Leblets. We haven't got a berry either anymore, which makes this even more difficult, especially without the rain. And we just can't out damage in Cinnabon now. I mean, Oblivion Wing would be a good thing to have, but. Tapu Lele, of course. Of course, it's you, Tapu Lele. Um, but there's no way we win this at all. I'm not going to forfeit. You can see the Psychic Seed on Tapu Lele, which is like super interesting. Um, let's just stop. Just for the funsies and the button pressing, and uh, we'll be able to see this one up, and it's, yeah, it's faster as well. So, max speed, timid Lele. Because our Eveltal only outspeeds modest max, so very good game to my opponent. Uh, well played, nice lead, um, and like I say, the problems for us were our lead put us in such a bad spot. We needed to really adjust. Kyogre scared us off a lot from bringing stuff like Incineroar, which would have been absolutely amazing in this match, and that is just our own fault. Um, but something we need to really, we need to think about a lot more going into the the, the, the next two days because um, I want to come out uh, at least not like we've started the week because it's not been great. But we're going to get weeks like this. It is like Pokemon, guys. That's the thing. Hopefully, you're still taking things away from the, the games. 
um, and not looking at them like, oh, he loses, so why am I watching this? There's a lot to take away from the games, like, um, and like how we turn it round. So there is value in that. Um, and obviously, me sitting here has so many like thoughts about saying, oh, well, I just stopped the video. I'll not put this one out because we lost. No one wants to see losers. And like it's so tempting to do that, but where are we getting any value from if I'm just putting wins up all the time? That's what you've got to ask yourselves because if you're winning all the time, then like, well, no one wins all the time. Let's face facts. There are a lot of players that win a lot of the time, but it's the road that they get, they take on getting there to winning all the time that is is the really crucial part it's that path that they've taken where they've learned along the way where they learn about all these mistakes where they improve it's that road that you have to view you have to look at before you get to the point where you're winning all the time so that's the value right there we're on that road right now and we're on the road to victory at some point but um, thank you as always i'll stop the rant we'll turn the game music off get the nice old jazzy music back on and uh, i will just say thank you so much for watching guys um we will come back more positive we will turn this round 100 percent um and um we'll take on board everything that i've said about going forward and uh, make things a lot better going into the next two to end end on a high for the end of the week which we will do i guarantee it guarantee and um, but i will end it here thank you so much for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed today's episode as always do leave a like subscribe to the channel um and uh check out our guides that we have on the sun series at the moment as well so thank you so much i will see you for the next episode so until then guys take care and bye bye